If you are new to running this year and you're looking to pick up your first running shoe, I'm gonna tell you in this video exactly all the things you need to look for when picking that brand new running shoe. What is up everybody and welcome to 40 Runs. My name is Chris Ford and I'm a running coach here on YouTube who loves to talk about running shoes. And like I said, in this video, I'm gonna help you if you are starting on your running journey and you're looking to get your first running shoe. We're gonna talk about all the things you need to consider when making that purchase. Try and get the optimal running shoe for you and I'm gonna help you with that. So sit back, relax, get a cup of tea and let's get stuck in. Okay, so the running shoe is the most essential bit of kit for any runner. And today we're gonna to be using the Nova Blast 4 as our example because this is one of the best daily trainers you could buy currently and it's a really good example of what you can get right now as a daily trainer. Now what is a daily trainer for you? Well it is a shoe that can do most things and that's what I'm referring to when I say a daily trainer. Now we're not going to overcomplicate things on this video, we're going to talk about the different things to look for uh, in a running shoe and I'm going to help you, trust me people, I am going to help you. Okay so firstly let's talk about the purpose of this running shoe. So you're starting out on your running journey, now where are you running, what are you running on, right? Are you uh, going to be on the treadmill, are you going to be on the roads, or oh, pavements, but are you going to be on the trails? This is the sort of thing you need to think about. About. because that will determine what sort of shoe you buy because you can buy specific trail shoes you can get a shoe that's probably more suited to a treadmill or you can get a road based shoe that will pretty much do a lot of that so think about the purpose of the shoe that's an important thing to think about at the start next up the price people now it is an expensive pastime buying running shoes I'm telling you that now this shoe for example is 130 pounds which is a lot of money so think about your budget right? That's the most important thing I think, apart from the purpose, is your budget, because then we can fit everything else around that. Now there's great websites like Start Fitness and you can use the code 40 runs over at startfitness.co.uk and you're going to get 10% because they sell a lot of good shoes a little bit cheaper than the rest. Okay, so look, we should have said this at the start. The most important thing really for any new runner is to go and get their gait analysed. But if you can't do that and you just want to get a pair of shoes and get out and running, I totally appreciate that. But really, you should go and get your gait analysed. But right, okay, so with that aside, fit. Fit is really important. Now all these running shoes come up differently, right? We've got a shoe here that actually runs a little bit longer than some of the other shoes out there. And some of these shoes come up narrow, some of these come up wider, some of them have a little bit more height in the toe box, and there's all that sort of, uh, yeah, the different fits to consider. Now in general, Asics are pretty good in terms of their fit. I would say Brooks are very good in terms of fit. And the good thing with Brooks, you can get different width options. So have a think about the shape of your foot, right? The other thing to consider also is the arch. What sort of arch have you've got in your foot. These are all things to consider, but you really do need to think about the fit of the shoe. But I can recommend the shoes from like Asics and Brooks because pretty much you'll find something that fits you very well. Right, next up, stability. Now hopefully you've got your gait analyzed and they will tell you that you pronate or you don't pronate or you need a neutral shoe or you need a stability shoe. So a neutral shoe is for somebody who doesn't need any form of stability. Now if you need stability, it's probably because you pronate. So either over pronate, under pronate, but basically you need some support in the shoe so you're not sort of running along like that. So you will find shoes online that are stability shoes. So just be careful if you don't need a stability shoe, then don't buy one. Buy yourself a neutral shoe. But at the same time, if you need a stability shoe, don't buy a neutral shoe. Because some of these neutral shoes have like high stack height. So the amount of foam in the heel is really high. And there's, and there's some really soft shoes out there. And you'll start sort of collapsing in. And that will give you all sorts of injury problems. So make sure you find out whether in the, your local running store or whatever, you need a stability shoe. Or some mild guidance. There's some really good shoes out there from like Puma and Asics that can give you some mild guidance. But have a look if you need some stability. Right next Next up important to look at is the upper. Some of these uppers can be very thick. Some of these uppers can be very coarse. The A6 Nova Blast 4 has got a great upper on it. It's breathable, it's stretchy to a degree, and it fits really well. So have a look at the uppers, because some of them can be like a sweat box, some of these shoes, especially some of the cheaper ones. So make sure you have a good look at the upper. And the second to last thing is the foam. Now these shoes have all got these flashy foams in them and some of them are softer than others. So I want you to make sure that you check the foam, that it's not overly soft or it's not too firm. There's some real cheap shoes out there from like Nike that are like running on concrete. So have a look at the foam. There's different foams, there's different makeups. We're not gonna go into that today, but it's important that you check the foam that it's not too soft or not too firm. And the last thing I want you to check is the outsole. Now we want that shoe to last and we also want that shoe to be grippy. We don't wanna be sliding around. So have a look at the outsole as well. You want 
something that's got a decent outsole on it that's going to hang on to whatever surface you're running on will give you enough durability so you don't have to buy a new pair after about a month but yes you want a really good outsole on the running shoe as well okay so they're the sort of things i want you to look for and it's not over complicated people okay so just go along to your local running store go and start start fitness find that running shoe but just think about the things i've mentioned today to try and get you that perfect running shoe but whatever shoe you end up with let us know in the comments and good luck on your running journey i really hope you get into it as much as i do and you should probably start buying about a million pairs of these shoes as well but yes hopefully that's added some value to you thank you very much for sticking around to the end of the video i'll catch you later